on this RV short I'm going to finish up a project I started kind of in a temporary you saw one of my videos where I made this tape to deflect the heat off the uh, water heater whenever you have it in propane so I'm going to make this more permanent this is what I have I have a piece of tin actually I say it's tin but it's actually a piece of aluminum sheathing that I've cut to shape I'm going to need a duck bill pair of pliers to bend it and I've got a tin snips and I've got some uh, flat black paint so we'll get to that project and we'll sh show you how I'm going to do that with rivets and we'll get on with it okay if you see how I did this I put a little bend I'm not sure exactly what the angle is on the end but I left plenty and what this is going to do is meet up on here and it's going to give you my angle for my and then I'll end up trimming this piece and putting the rivet in here so we'll get that done on both sides and you want to leave your little extra room just in case you're you're off a little bit and we'll see what that looks like when I get that put together okay I have to do my bending I've got a nice bend on here <clears throat> and you'll see how that's gonna work and a slight angle on each side and I'm leaving the bottom open that way water that runs down in there will just run out the bottom I could have made a tab in the middle kind of to hold it up against the uh, piece there but I think it's gonna work out okay and now I'm going to go down and get my drill bits and I'm going to basically put a rivet on each side. Let's see how that's going to work out. Okay, a few other things that I needed. You're going to need your rivets. In this case, it's a 1 8 diameter, 1 8, one eighth bite. And you're going to need a, a rivet gun or whatever you rivet pinching device, pop rivet, rivet tool. And uh you need a drill to drill your uh, hole and you need a 1 8 inch diameter drill bit also got some electrical tape and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to that just to keep this sharp edge from cutting anybody I'll do that when I get ready to paint well you'll see what I did there is I took some electrical tape and I basically made a little edge I don't want to put too much on this side because this is where the heat's gonna come up so I put that across and I folded it down the back side and it get it very good but I'm going to spray it real with black paint so it's really not going to show main thing is that you have this edge if you got a kid and they run around their edge their hand along that edge they can cut themselves very easily so you want to make sure you protect your that edge with something so you can see where I've got the rivet in there for the first side I'm going to move it around Position it for the other side and stretch it out as best I can Got that painted up paint didn't work as well as I wanted it to but it's gonna do do its job So there you have it got another rivet back in here Like I say it's a little bit floppy But again, it has that angle And like I say, the get go is to heat get that heat off this side right here It deflects it off and I think that's gonna be enough I just wish the RV people that made these would actually come up with a better solution and actually make it built into this screen right here or whatever. But anyway, that's that's my fix for now and I think that's going to do well and that's going to be more permanent than the tape that I used. And uh, we're still working in the uh, late fall so we'll see how this works out when we get into spring camping. So that's about all I have for this RV short. If you have any uh, ideas you might have fixed this particular problem, put it in the comments. If you have any questions of how I did this, put it in the uh, comments as well. And we'll see you on the next short.